guys, it's Margaret. I thought I'd pop on real quick to show you a quick tutorial on how I make shirts for Merch by Amazon. I use two websites. One is called Lunapix and the other is PicMonkey. Both of them are free. They have paid um, components to them. Um, I'm not sure about Lunapix actually, but, but PicMonkey does. And I do pay for the upgrade. I think it's about five bucks a month, but for me, it's totally worth it. I use it all the time. So I was going to show you two different ways um, to make a shirt, one that's just text-based and one where it, you have an image that you want to drop in onto the shirt. So first, let me pull up some of the, um, these are the images that I want to use. Now, can I really use these on a shirt? No, because they're not mine. But I thought for the sake of a video, let's do it. This one is already a PNG. PNG. Um, a lot of times when you search for a PNG, it's got a, a transparent background already, so you can just pick it up and drop it onto, let me see if I can show you. See, it, there's a black background around it. But what I want to do is show you how to do that on an image that has, let's say, a white background like this one. So let's start there. I'm pulling up Lunapic. And it took, it took me a bit to figure out the site because it's a bit, it's not as user friendly as I am used to because PicMonkey is super user friendly. So I want to upload an image, so there's not just a random, you know, upload, there's like more uploads. Choose a file, I'm picking my hot dog man, because I can. So I'm picking him. The only thing I'm noticing that is that when I go to take away the white in the back, his teeth are also white, and the eye, whites of his eyes, so that I'll just have to either fix it later or be okay with it. So when you get to this point and you want to remove the background, hopefully it's, it's a lot easier when the background is a one solid color. You can still do it when there are multiple colors, but it becomes more challenging. So I click um, edit, go to edit, go down to transparent. And then you just click on the color you want to make transparent and click down the white. And it did pretty good. It take away the whites of his teeth. So, and now let's say it didn't make it white enough or you know there was still some whiteness to it that you can adjust the transparency level. Let's say I want his teeth to not be there. You can see it's getting kind of grainy where it's taking out more of the, the white um, reflections and things. So I'll put it back to five and then I can save that. Saving that out. I'll save him here. Change it. I like things on my desktop where I can grab them real fast. Hot dog. So that's how you make the background transparent on Lunapix. So I don't do much more in Lunapix than just taking um, backgrounds out, making them transparent. So now let's jump over to PicMonkey, which is my favorite. When I'm ready to make a shirt in PicMonkey, what I do is I come to design and I hover over that and I choose the eight by 10 option, like so. And that just gives me a plain white canvas to work with. And I'll click apply there for now. Now, I have to decide here, do I want this to be on a black shirt or do I want it to be on a white shirt or both? So I'll, I'll show you both ways. So the first thing I wanna do is drop in my hot dog man. I come over to this little butterfly overlays and this gives lots of different pictures and graphics and things like that, but I want to click on my own and I'm choosing the hot dog man that we just made transparent. You can still see a bit of the white, so I could have done a little bit better on him you know, cleaning it up like I showed you. So, but on, on a white background, it doesn't look that bad. We'll see how it looks on a black. So let's say I wanna write something. Um, I'll choose my font, I'll add my text. The only thing I don't like about the PicMonkey app is that you can't curve the text. Like you have to do it letter by letter. I wish it had like a curve feature, but it doesn't. So here I'll, I'm going to say, get your, and then on the bottom, I'll put hot dogs. Now again, I cannot put this shirt up on merch. Here's how I'm going to center it. I'm going to put that side over there to touch on the edge where the little circles are. I'm putting these circles on this edge over here. Uh, to center it, I'm going to line those circles up on both sides and then click center here to center the text. And then at the bottom, I'm just going to copy this um, duplicate text, taking it down to the bottom down here and putting hot dogs, put your hot dogs. Okay, now 
my worry is that, that once this goes on the shirt, it's going to be this big, right? It's going to be ginormous. So I might want to wiggle things around and make it a bit smaller. Um, my first couple of shirts, I, it was a learning a curve, realizing that your image is like going to be giant on your shirt if you do that. So get your hot dogs. So let's say that's what I want to put on my shirt. That looks great. If I want it on a white shirt, um, I have to come over here, click basic edits, canvas color, and then transparent. And that will make my whole background transparent. So if I were putting this on a light colored shirt, then this is great. So I will apply, I will save, and I usually save it out as white shirt, hot dog. And I'll, I'll show you how to edit the size in just a second. You know what? I'll show you how to do it now. And then I'll flip back and show you what I do to change the, if I want it on a black shirt. Okay, so here is the image that I have for my white shirt for merch. But as you know, you have to have the image size of 4,500 by 5,400. So the way I do this, and again, I'm on a Mac. I go to preview. I've got my picture pulled up. I click on tools, adjust size. And here's where I click, I um, change the width and the height, 4500. And then I unselect, deselect scale proportionally. And then here, 5400. And then make sure it's in pixels. And I say OK. And then it fixes that for me. And it is ready to go. So that one is ready to roll. If I want to make this shirt um, with for a darker color, then I will change, just change the font color. Let's say I want it white. And if I'm having trouble seeing this and I wanna make sure it's just right, what I do is I come over to canvas color again and I just make it black so I can see what it's going to look like. So I see, I don't really like, you know, how it didn't clean up the edges very well, um, but that's okay. I can take that out. Let's say I have my other hot dog man. And like I said, I can't really use my this hot dog man on the shirt that I'm, you know, making money on because this is not my image. So you can see this one was professionally, somebody took their time and it looks good. So there's a different one that you could use. And once I like it and I see how it looks on the dark background, I'll come back and make my canvas transparent again. Apply And save it out and change the size like that. So that is what I do. Let's say I want to make a shirt that's just text based, which is fine as well. Um, basically, I just do the same kind of thing that I do, just skip the Lunapix step. I made one here earlier. I can show you what I did. I just chose a different font. That's another thing I really like about um, Pick Monkeys that there's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of fonts. So here, I will again center it. Texas Gal Treasures. Because, of course, everyone wants a Texas Gal Treasure shirt. <laughs> okay, so here's this. I'm going to drop it down a bit. And look, again... Oh, let me make this a different color. White, there we go. Dropping it down so it's not like right up at your neck. It's right there. Make it, uh, the font a bit bigger. I can scale it up here. And then let's say I don't like, like, oh, it looks like there's more space down here than there is here. Maybe it's just a trick of the eye. What I can do is go in there, and now I've got my cursor here. I can bring it in like so. So it's it looks a little more... Uniform, that's still not right. Bring it in a little more there. So like that. All right, so let's say I want more. I'm going to come over here. I want some stars. I will use this star. Bring it down. And again, you can change the color for the star. Here. And if I want, because I'm going to make this shirt, I'll show you what I, I made it yesterday. I may not actually make this shirt, but I thought, okay, let me do this. So that's what I created yesterday. So the, the stars pop in at an angle, so I'm going to just rotate them like so. And then duplicate. That way they're, they're the same size. I don't have to worry about, did I size them correctly? Duplicate. Now, another thing I wish that I could do was lock these three together. Now, I can lock it all down if I want, you know, to make it stay as one image, um, but I can't lock these three together, which I wish I could do. Maybe I can. Won't let me. Won't, won't. Um, 
because then I could just copy once I get them exactly symmetrical and I like it. So now I want to take these again, duplicate, and take them up top and see what I like. And there we go. I mean, it's not fantastic, but you, I think you get the idea. You can play around with the symmetry a bit more, play around with images, whatnot. Um, again, transparent. So that is my tutorial for creating a shirt on Merch by Amazon. I hope that you found it useful. And as always, get your hot dogs here. Have a good day. Bye.